You know, Bob is uh, uh, a free-thinking conservative, uh, unlike almost anybody I know, willing to change his mind, willing to be uh, persuaded by some 22-year-old right out of college who has a better idea. Look, there's just nobody like Bob Novak. His legacy is the courage, the tenacity, the spirit that he represents. Uh, uh, sometimes Bob Novak reminds me of the guy who uh, is walking down the street and he sees two guys fighting and he says, is this a private fight or can I get in? This is an independent, independent guy. This is a guy that uh, uh, people know him and understand him and respect him. You find out in coaching who your true friends are very quickly and it's a very uh, small group of people a lot of times. But Bob has been one of those uh, true friends for the past 20 years. The Barbara Olson Award recognizes a journalist who has exhibited independence and excellence in his work and honors his singular, principled, and courageous commitment to the defense of freedom, free markets, and the free and open expression of ideas and civilized values. The American Spectator is honored to present the 2008 Barbara Olson Award to one of the greats of American journalism, Robert D. Novak. I've had a lot of uh, stories that uh, were very unpopular and uh, caused me a lot of trouble, but I defend writing them. I've tried to uh, not uh, be swayed by the crowd on uh, running toward the, uh, the most popular figure, the most popular uh, point of view, uh, which uh, I think is a great temptation for, for journalists, because it's, uh, it's easier to be popular than, uh, than controversial, believe it or not. You don't have to agree with Bob on every issue not to recognize that here is somebody uh, upon whose shoulders many of us stand. The greatest joy for me is finding out something that uh, uh, nobody else knows and that is important and exposing it to the world. My late partner, Roy Evans, called it intersecting the lines of communication. Uh, by the governing class, and that's what uh, that's what we tried to do, and that's what I tried to do, and uh, that's my joy is finding out things I'm not supposed to know, and the public's not supposed to know. All the years I've known uh, Bob Novak, he has been the hardest working reporter in Washington. So when you go to a column by Bob Novak, you don't just get his opinion; you learn things above and beyond his opinion. You you, you benefit from the reporting that he's done, and his columns are always reported. There's always new information, uh, and, and I know how he gets it. I've been by his office hundreds of times. There hasn't been a single time I've been by there when he wasn't on the phone uh, trying to dig up more information and usually succeeding. I always tell young journalists that to relish the joy of reporting, of uh, finding out things that nobody else knows, and there's nothing wrong with commenting on them. Bob's always he got his own opinion. And he's got his own opinion about football, about politics, about uh, everything, and that's what makes him so special. His, his loyalty has been amazing, and people obviously recognize Bob Novak when he comes to the games, and that's very important for your program to have a Bob Novak who is so upfront with his, you know, feelings about our basketball program there, and you know, people see that, and I think that helps our whole program. I sometimes talk to the referees, um, I give them constructive criticism. Uh, like, uh, you're wrong. <laughs> I admire him, I, I like him, I like his courage, uh, I like his independence, all that comes through. Uh, but he didn't get that title, the Prince of Darkness, for no reason at all. Uh, and in fact, at one meeting with, our, with my WHIP organization, early this, uh, early this year he came in and laid out a very ugly year for us politically. Uh, unfortunately, he was right on almost all counts, even though we all walked out of the room thinking, surely it can't be that bad. I had no religious faith until uh, my conversion, but um, since I have become a Christian, I think it's impacted my thought process and necessarily my writing to a great degree, and I try to, not, not always successfully, live my life as a Christian. I think I'm getting better at it. A lot of people would say, uh, that's a load to swallow, <laughs> but I, I, uh, I feel 
very happy about that now. He was 66, then 67. Uh, you talk about a guy with an open mind who always ready uh, to receive a new idea. In this case, it was Jesus Christ. Uh, that's Bob Novak. Uh, Bob, congratulations on receiving the Barbara Olson Award. Nobody uh, personifies what this award is about more than you do. Uh, congratulations on your great career. Thanks for uh, the, the many times you've been so straightforward with me. Sometimes things I wanted to hear, sometimes things I didn't. Uh, but always understanding uh, that this process that you're part of and that we get a chance to be part of uh, is a symbol to the rest of the world. Uh, I admire your courage. I benefit from your friendship. Uh, the country uh, continues to benefit from your observations about what America is and what America can be. I just want to tell you that uh, we all appreciate you very, very much. and We appreciate uh, uh, how loyal you are to the Redskins and, and Washington. And, uh, you know, you're, you've, been, you've been a fan through thick and thin with us, and, and uh, we really appreciate that. And hail to the Redskins and hail to Bob. Thanks. Bob, you know how I feel about you, I think, by now, you know. And, uh, it's very, very important that uh, you're back here for the games, and uh, there's a lot of people here who really care about you, and uh, I think you know that. Well, I, at least I hope you know that, because we're right there for you, just like you've always been here for the University of Maryland, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bob, congratulations on winning this Barbara Olson Award. It's obviously richly deserved. You know, it's not only to me that you've been an incredible example to uh, about the way journalism uh, should be pursued with a lot of reporting, a lot of thinking, uh, and not just writing columns, but writing magazine articles, appearing on television. Uh, look, there's nobody who did this before you, and there's nobody who can do it the way you've done for so many years. What an example. Uh, I'm still in awe of it. Never give in. Never, 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 never yield except to, con except to conviction of honor and integrity. Never yield. Uh, to the apparent overwhelming might of the enemy. Uh, your courage, your tenacity, your spirit uh, is a, an example to all of us, and I thank you for that, and congratulations again on this prestigious award. I have, uh, in my career, tried to follow some advice I give to universities, graduates, whose schools are brave enough to invite me to give a commencement address. The advice I give to graduates and to all Americans is based on our founding fathers. I tell them uh, always love your country, but never trust your government.